Hey, yeah, folks, it was busy for a time on the radar this afternoon. It's pretty good showers moving across the area. Harlan's picking up almost an inch of rain. Other places seeing a lot less. We had about a third of an inch here at our studios in Westlaco. And now see things beginning to kind of fade away. Not a whole lot left the last hour or so, except for a couple of showers way out in the west. Spotty stuff possible tonight into tomorrow. But the big stuff is going to stay to our north. And we're talking about a lot of big stuff off to the north of us. This is a cloud cover picture. And we're going to push back a little bit. And here's our system that we're watching very closely. Hurricane Center has a circle around this saying there's a 20% chance it'll develop. Really, it's two days. Five days out, it should be inland, probably somewhere over southeast Texas. The whole system expected to kind of push in that general direction. But the wet side of it is the east side, the west side over here where we are is probably the dry side of this. Now, does that mean we get nothing? No, we'll see spotty showers, but the heaviest rain likely to stay in the uh, southeastern corner of Texas. Take a look. The system moves very, very slowly, but by tomorrow, you're just seeing a bunch of rain coming on shore down around Galveston and Houston. Back here, it's the dry side. I should say drier side because, yes, there'll be spotty showers around, but not nearly as active as what it's going to be up the coast. They are going to see a bunch of rain in the Houston area the next few days. Here's Wednesday. Again, all the moisture on the east side. A little bit stuff wrapped around in the back, but not a lot. Go forward to Thursday, same kind of thing. It's a mainly dry flow for us, a northwesterly flow into the valley. That really dries things out pretty significantly. In the meantime, by Friday, it's still raining in Houston. Take a look at what Future Track predicts rainfall wise. Here is through Wednesday at 6 p.m. Freeport down on the Texas coast, almost six inches of rain. Houston, three and a half. I'll say in Browns with a point oh one. So just a couple of drops in the rain bucket. Going forward to Thursday into Friday. Notice how the totals go over seven inches. They're saying some parts of the west side of Houston down to the southwest could see eight to fifteen inches of rain before this thing is over with. It's going to be a major rain event for that part of the state. But look down here. Again, we're definitely on the dry side of this thing. Uh, while we could see spotty showers, maybe an embedded thunder shower, the biggest rain likely to stay to the north. Here's what Future Track says for tonight. Could be a brief shower along the coast overnight. And I think the places most likely to see rain will be the northeastern corner of the valley. Willis County, parts of Cameron County, maybe up into northern Hidalgo County. If you get a shower from McAllen out westward, that's going to be the exception more than the rule. There'll be stuff out there, but again, the most active will be in the eastern part of the valley, basically I-69 e eastward toward the coast. So our best chance of rain is the eastern part of the valley, but we go 40, 30, 20. In the meantime, off the east coast, we have another hurricane. It's Umberto with winds right now of 90 miles per hour. The good thing about Umberto, it's staying out to sea for the most part, but look, it strengthens very close to Bermuda Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night. That forecast path, that window kind of sideswipes Bermuda. Then it heads out into the North Atlantic, and that'll be the end of that. So really the only place in the path, Bermuda, they're keeping a close eye on that, of course. We're looking at this tonight. Partly cloudy, spotty shower, 75 for a low. Then tomorrow back to 95, certainly warmer. That wind goes west this time of year. It can get quite warm across the valley. So scattered showers, spotty storms the next couple of days, but not big stuff. Most of the area is relatively dry and we go that way all the way into the weekend. We can't completely rule out showers any day of the forecast period, but temperatures back above normal again and stay that way through most of the forecast. That's your updated first four five accurate the forecast.